Yes, sir. Yo, YouTube. Welcome to the Great FX TV, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're still with the force, just hit that like button and share the video so you can reach as many people as possible. Man, it's been a long, long, long time, right? It's been a long time, man. But I'm back right now. And guys, if you haven't joined our Telegram channel, the link is down below. That's the first link in the description box. That's the link of our Telegram. You, hey, you get the exclusive there. Like, but I don't want you guys to depend on me. I want you guys to be independent traders. So I don't like give you signals every day in the group. I'm just letting you know already. You know, I'm just letting you know already so that when you join, you, sh you should be knowing what you're joining for and everything, right? So yeah, man. Um, I don't give up signals every day, but then yeah. I do give all signals and when i give them i give quality signals so yeah by the way let's get straight to the strategy of today man this is the easiest strategy ever but yet yeah, effective right so you can see this is um two moving averages we got the first one which is period 10 what what those are the parameters after the parameters we got the style any color right we got the level time frames all right okay cool after this one we got the second moving average which is moving average 100 wara, wara, wara. there are your parameters and then we got the style any color of your choice still right as long as you can see the difference from the first one and then we got the level Psh, nothing then time frames all oh, cool done and then what you gotta do it is that it doesn't matter whether you zoom or not you know it is not that thing of like oh i have to zoom on oh, i have to zoom twice no it's not that thing because it doesn't have indicator window one so now we're just dealing with the chart itself so yeah so this is crash right and on crash you know that we catch spikes right so meaning we want to go down and mind you if we have to go down we have to go down when the market is going down we can't try to go down while we can see that the market is going up right so let's try to make our trading easier guys please let's try to make our trading easier by doing one by just following the trend don't go against the trend bro you know just follow the trend and then everything will be awesome everything will be fine so yeah the first thing that you gotta do you can go to each any of the time frames that you want for yourself um and you know um just to check the trend but then obviously you have to go to higher time frames like the, um, the one hour time frame you know or the four hours you can go to the 30 minutes you know just higher time frames to be able to check the trend right so the first thing that you're gonna do is that you're gonna identify a downtrend on crash 300 on a higher time frame after identifying a trend you're gonna come to this um m1 time frame and then what you're gonna do this day you're gonna wait you're gonna wait for the market to spike down and then obviously when it spikes that when it spikes down um these two moving averages are going to cross so as soon as they cross you're gonna wait for the market to retrace to this black line this one you just do it um you just do it after the market after these two moving averages cross and then you see when it comes back this is your sell right and then as this is your sell boom spike down with you right so now nah, this one was very little man it was very little you see it even gave out small spike i'm gonna show you where are you supposed to do it here so what i'm basically saying it is there you're gonna wait for the market to spike after it spikes these are going to cross after they cross you're gonna wait for the market to retrace to that black line and then boom it crashed hard right okay it crashed hard you can see even um even here um it spiked and then you see these two moving averages crossed the black moving average came below the um orange moving average right so after that has happened what you're gonna do it is that you're gonna wait for the market to retreat to the black line and then when it gets there you show but you can see right here maybe you might have missed it but then you were gonna try this one then you would have won easy right so um 
the sun gave out a small spark. But then you can get that um, when the market has done this, has gave us this small spike, there's a possibility that the market was in an uptrend. All right, so there was a possibility that the market has was been in an uptrend on a high time frame. Hence, I'm saying you have to check um, the, 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 um, the higher time frames first for the trend, right? So if you see losses like this one, you should know in most cases we might be in an uptrend. So avoid um avoid uptrend in, in crash, right? Avoid it. You can see even right now we were in an uptrend, but either way, you see we spiked below. As we spiked below, these two moving averages crossed, and then you sold right here, and then boom, crashed hard, right? You can see this one, it was perfect. One of the, the most perfect entries ever is spiked. They crossed, and then as they crossed, you can see that the market spiked. And the uh, the market went up to retrace and then we got to that black line. Um it sold heavy. Just look at that. It sold heavy. It sold so heavy. I don't know. Let me go to another crash in this or something. You know, it's been a long time since I've been made like um these quite good mess um videos like this, man. It's just one of the easiest strategies ever, but it's effective but then i don't like using indicators on crash 500 because one thing that i can tell you guys the one the secret that i can give out to you guys it is that most of the indicators do not work on crash 500 but all the other indices on crash and boom but it's crazy that um most of the indicators let's say 80 percent of the indicators um um which is meta trader indicators, not just like indicators systems as a whole. No, I'm just saying meta trader indicators. There's a um eighty percent chance that most of it are not working on crash five hundred. So I just don't like using um what is this indicators on crash five hundred. Man, so let me leave it and for sure go to crash one thousand s and see. What's going on? You can see right now this. You can see right now this spike. Oh, come on. Oh, sorry, 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 guys. You can see that this spike, this one, this one, it was caused by this retracement from here, from here to here. This is where you would have sold, right? Because of this cross right here. Because of this cross. So this is where you would have sold. But then you can see you, you would be waiting for too long. But at least at the end of the day you got your profits. You know one thing you, could, you should know it is that boom. Um, crash for 1000. It takes too long to retrace. I'm giving you all game man. I'm giving you all secrets. If you all don't understand then I don't know. But then you see right here we failed. Maybe we were in an uptrend or something. You see, we failed. Even here, we failed. Yeah, we we are in an uptrend. Okay, this is the downtrend, right? He spiked down, and then you see the it it retraced, and then you see you see you sold right there. There, the market dropped, which you heavy. How nice is that, huh? But it always let me go to boom indices now. I know the perfect one might be boom three hundred. I just love these small boom and crash indices you know like oh just look at that oh just look at that you see whatever i just told you right now boom 300 is the best man if if like i caught this trade yeah i was going to take it you see the the market spiked and then obviously after it spiked we got this cross this cross when the market was around here so when the market retraces back to this black line you're gonna buy you see you bought you got a spike retrace back but at the end of the day it spiked way more again let's check another uptrend you see this one is a downtrend here's an uptrend you see that the market spiked up when it spiked up you got a cross right here you got a cross then right after getting that cross, the market retraced and then boom, it boomed very hard, right? 
how crazy is that you see even right here you're already on an uptrend coming from the bottom right the market spiked oh you see the market just spiked again we're just gonna spike i'm gonna show you um the market spiked and then we got this cross and then you can see that um right here the markets um retraced and then when it, when it was near the black line we bought and then boom it boomed very hard so guys there's not you see i just told you that we got another spike but guys there's nothing complicated there i don't want to make this video to be too long but that's it man uh, you see that strategy is so easy but yet effective so please man use it wisely use it only in an uptrend man i'm telling you man this is the moving average 10 and the moving average 100 exponential close close you already saw the settings at the beginning of the video man if you haven't joined our telegram channel hit that first link in the description box man to join our telegram channel to get the exclusives on boom and crash but thank you man if you stayed up to this far god bless man um keep Keep pushing, man. Keep pushing. Don't stop trading, man. You don't know when is your breakthrough going to be. You know, just keep pushing, man. Just keep learning. Just keep learning, man. So, yeah, man. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed, man, please hit that subscribe button. If you haven't liked, please do so. It takes nothing from you. Thank you, man. I love you guys.